National Human Rights Commission of India, Wikipedia article audio. The Rights Commission of India is an autonomous public body constituted on October 12, 1993 under the Protection of Human Rights Ordinance of September 28, 1993. It was given a statutory basis by the Protection of Human Rights Act, 1993. The NHRC is the National Human Rights Commission of India, responsible for the protection and promotion of human rights, defined by the Act as rights relating to life, liberty, equality and dignity of the individual guaranteed by the Constitution or embodied in the International Covenants. Functions Composition Chairman and Members State Human Rights Commission Appointment Former Chairpersons Acting Chairpersons Controversy Human Rights Campaign's Recommendations Human rights means the rights relating to life, liberty, equality, and dignity of the individual guaranteed by the Constitution or embodied in the International Covenants and enforceable by courts in India. Commission means the National Human Rights Commission constituted under section of all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights known as human rights, as commonly understood are the rights that every human being is entitled to enjoy freely irrespective of his religion, race, caste, sex, and nationality, etc. In Declaration of Independence acknowledged the fundamental human rights. Human right means different thing to different people. Human rights are not static, but are rather dynamic in nature. New rights are recognized and enforced from time to time. Only persons fully conversant with the latest development about the expanding horizons of human rights can promote their awareness better than others. TFIRM mandates the NHRC to perform the following functions. The NHRC consists of the sitting judge of the Supreme Court or sitting Chief Justice of any High Court can be appointed only after the consultation with the Chief Justice of Supreme Court. Justice J.S. Kahar is going to be next chairman after H.L. Datu The chairman of the NHRC is Justice H.L. Datu and the other members are Ex officio members a state government may constitute a body known as the Human Rights Commission of that state to exercise the powers conferred upon, and to perform the functions assigned to, a state commission. In accordance to the amendment brought in TIFRA 1993.10 no. below is the list of state human rights commissions formed to perform the functions of the commission as stated under Chapter V of TIFRA 1993. At present, 25 states have constituted SHRC. Section 2 Sections 3 and 4 of TIFRA lay down the rules for appointment to the NHRC. The chairperson and members of the NHRC are appointed by the President of India, on the recommendation of a committee consisting of a report concerning the manner of which the Shivani Bhatnagar murder controversy case was rejected, a case which involved high-ranking officials being implicated in the murder of a journalist, opened the organization up to questioning over the usefulness of human rights commissions set up by the government at the national and state levels. In mid-2011, the chairman of the NHRC, ex-Chief Justice K.G., Balakrishnan came under a cloud for allegedly owning assets disproportionate to his income. His son-in-law P. V. Srinijan, an Indian National Congress politician, had to resign for suddenly coming into possession of land worth Rs 25 lakhs. Many prominent jurists, including former C. J. J. S. Verma, S. C. X. Judge V. R. Krishna Iyer, Noted jurist Fully S. Nariman, 
former NHRC member Sudarshan Agrawal and prominent activist lawyer Prashant Bhushan, have called on Balakrishnan's resignation pending from the HRC pending inquiry. In February 2012, the Supreme Court inquired of the government regarding the status of the inquiry. NHRC held that 16 out of 19 police encounters with suspected Maoists in Gunter and Kurnool districts of Andhra Pradesh, prior to 2002 were fake and recommended to government payment of compensation of Rs 5 lakh each to the kin of the families. Proactively or reactively inquire into violations of Government of India human rights or negligence in the prevention of such violation by a public servant, by leave of the court, to intervene in court proceeding relating to human rights, make recommendations, review the safeguards provided by or under the constitution or any law for the time being in force for the protection of human rights and recommend measures for their effective implementation, review the factors, including acts of terrorism that inhibit the enjoyment of human rights and recommend appropriate remedial measures, to study treaties and other international instruments on human rights and make recommendations for their effective implementation, undertake and promote research in the field of human rights, engage in human rights education among various sections of society and promote awareness of the safeguards available for the protection of these rights through publications, the media, seminars, and other available means. Encourage the efforts of NGOs and institutions working in the field of human rights, such other function as it may consider it necessary for the protection of human rights, requisitioning any public record or copy thereof from any court or office. A chairperson, should be retired Chief Justice of India, one member who is, or has been, a judge of the Supreme Court of India, one member who is, or has been, the Chief Justice of a High Court, two members to be appointed from among persons having knowledge of, or practical experience in, matters relating to human rights, in addition, the chairpersons of four national commissions serve as ex officio members. Justice Sirak Joseph, Justice D. Murugesan, Chief Justice of Delhi High Court, Sherid Chandra Sinha, former Director General, National Investigation Agency, Jyotika Kalra. Ram Shankar Kotharia, Chairperson, National Commission for Scheduled Castes, Nand Kumar Sai, Chairperson, National Commission for Scheduled Tribes, Syed Gayarul Hassan Rizvi, Chairperson, National Commission for Minorities, Ray Kar Sharma, Chairperson, National Commission for Women. The Prime Minister, the Home Minister, the leader of the opposition in the Lok Sava, the leader of the opposition in the Rajya Sava, the speaker of the Lok Sava, the deputy chairman of the Rajya Sava.